Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things. Death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about whether the spiritual heaven is tangible. This time, is the spiritual hell tangible? Once again, we're referring to the hell that currently exists, which isn't physical yet, and which we, in our bodies, can't touch physically. Due to not being physical, hell isn't tangible in a certain sense, a, a literal sense. We can't reach out and grab it, because it doesn't have physical dimensions like that. Still, if souls in heaven can experience touch sensations without actually touching things, why not think that souls in hell can do the same? Well, the main problem with the idea of souls in hell being able to experience touch sensations is that that implies that they have the power to experience them. The power to experience touch sensations is a good thing, and therefore you'd think they wouldn't possess it. However, the Bible also describes hell many times as a place of pain, and if touch sensations are impossible in hell, how could pain be possible? This seems to be another conundrum. If the souls in hell experience pain, they must have some sort of touch sensation. But how can they without having the ability to experience it? Once again, as with touch sensations in heaven, this isn't a subject that very many people have written about, so there's not a lot to go by. But I've been thinking about it for a while, and I think the conundrum can be resolved. The very fact that a person can lose everything good and still be the same person proves that things don't have to disappear when they lose all their goodness. Therefore, neither does the sense of touch. It would just cease to be a good ability and become a detriment and nothing else. The touch sensations available to souls in hell would only be unpleasant touch sensations, and far from having the ability to experience them, as we do, souls in hell would have no control over what kinds of sense experiences they had. Therefore, it wouldn't be an ability or a power or any other good thing. It would be completely lacking in goodness, but nevertheless the soul in hell would still experience touch sensations of some type. Next time, do we lose anything by going to heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.